So as we all know, we've just been through this period, uh, almost three years, where everything globally has been shaking a lot up. I know that I talked about it last year, that we had to focus more on grounding and be more present in the physical world and not so much flying above in the universes in order of manifesting the life we want down here. And as we are getting closer to the new year, we thought that we want to talk a bit about this in this video. So as for next year, <laughs> one of the main focuses is still that we need to manifest the world that we wish and desire to create. And in order in doing that, we need to manifest it physically. So where before we have been focusing a lot on what is outside of ourselves and um, how to travel all the spiritual realms and all of these things, what is really important in the time to come is to be more grounded within the physical world. And I'm not talking as in that we should be part of the matrix or following the governmental rules or stuff like that. But more this thing where we learn or relearn to nurture our physical self. Which means eating in a way that benefits our self, our body. Movement, a lot of exercise, things that makes us grounded and gives us a, a feeling of strength and presence. Um, and also the human interactions that we do make sure to focus on being more together as a whole and not only online communication. Because we're stepping into a time era where AI is going to be a big part of our world and the world is still running faster and faster. And as long as we are part of that rat race, um, we lose groundation to our true origin. So in the time to come, in order of creating a beautiful life for ourselves and our children and what to come, it is important that we focus on routines that are healthy for ourselves and our community, the people around us. So, for example, uh, as people who know me, I always move a lot because we were created to move. We were created to be physical. One of the things that one of the tools to separate people <laughs> is if you make the women believe they have to be strong and the men believe that they have to be weak. If everybody let go of their true origins, we no longer have the strength as a family and a community. So it's so important that we value the true masculinity and the true femininity and we nurture each other within that. Um, so... At the end of this year, we would like to ask you, what is your healthy routines? What do you do to nurture yourself, your family and your life? In the time to come, how do you, how do you make sure that your life on earth is, is worthy? That when you are 30 years older or 10 years older, that you're still able to move like you want, that you're still able to play with your kids or your grandchildren. All of this doesn't come from the outside. There's no hospital with prescriptions that's gonna, gonna save you at that point because all of this has to be created inside of you. Me on a personal note, <laughs> have been flying a lot around the most of my life and the last year to one and a half year, the universe told me that it was time to look inside and learn to be more grounded, eat more grounded food. So I'm back to this ancestor way of, of being. And it was scary because everything changed. My physical form changed. I had to step more and more into my true vibration and empowerment on earth. But only by doing that for all of us, can we see clearly enough and can we feel and stand strong enough to have a saying in what world reality we wish to create? So, do you have any questions? Yeah, is this matrix ever going to collapse or is it getting stronger? Um, people always say that when you are about to lose it, lose your grip, you try harder, right? So at the moment we're still running these matrix trips out and 
there's still some war outplays. There's still going to be some financial falling things. And they're still going to play out some more of these scary scenarios. And as AI are growing, that is also have something, um, not a threat to mankind <laughs> yet, but it changes the way that we view reality, right? The way the matrix works are being more and more exposed, which means we become more and more conscious of its existence. How we are going to do with that information is a global choice. Can we outgrow the matrix? Yes. But it's Earth, so there will be created another form of matrix. What is important to understand is that on Earth, we play the game of duality. So we will always play these routines, systems, different ways and forms, because that is how the experiments Earth were created and formed. But the way the structures are, the way that we have the matrix going on, we are able to influence and change, yes. Is the matrix like going to the gym? Going to the gym? Yeah, like we're getting stronger? Uh, by, uh, how do you mean it? By participating in the matrix, living in the matrix. So... It forces us maybe to grow, maybe a spiritual gym. Yeah, so when we have a matrix, it's kind of a control pattern, right? And we can either follow it or we can follow our heart and figure, figure out that we are not controlled by it, but we can play around in it as we are part of it, but still do our own thing. So I would more say the matrix is like, you know, when you are a child and your parents tell you everything to do and you are 100% influenced by their perception of reality and you don't yet have your own opinions. And then you start being a teenager and you start being rebellion. You start seeing you don't really fit in this box of what is meant to be. And at some point you got to cut the belly core and then you're grown up. This doesn't mean that you cannot come and visit your parents or respect them or be happy for what they teach you. But at that point, you're your own individual, creating your own family and your own belief systems. Yes, I, I made the matrix sounds beautiful. That this really is a holiday tier, no? <laughs> um, so for now, this is what we wish to share with you. And if you have any questions or any comments, write it in the comments below and uh, we will get back to you. As always, namaste and see you out there. <laughs>